What's good on my stock market homies? It's your boy Kevin. This is Touchdown Trades, the number one stock market investing and trading channel on all of the YouTube. In today's video, we're going to be talking about three penny stocks that I think are setting up for big moves to the upside. Penny stocks have been catching fire. We've seen a lot of momentum in small caps and lower price stocks. I got three that are setting up to go to the moon. If you're new around here, we talk about trading stocks, swing trading, and longer term investing, passive income, real estate. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications and everybody do me a solid and destroy that like button because the like button is not our friend and we must destroy it we got the chart weeble charts pulled up on the screen weeble is the broker that i use every single day if you want to get two free stocks valued up to 20 i think they're doing a deal right now you can get two free stocks valued up to 2500 dollars. that is a massive boost to your account Free money is the best money. There's a link in the description. Open account with Weeble. All right, so we have the chart for SNDL pulled up on the screen. This is Sundial Growers. This was one of the meme penny stocks that absolutely went bananas back here, running up from 24 cents a share over here in December, all the way up to four bucks in March. So a huge move. That is a couple thousand percent move but over the last several months couple months we've sold off from four dollars all the way back down to under a dollar per share sundial growers estimates that the legal cbd market is going to be near three billion dollars towards the end of 2021 the legal mj industry in the united states is growing and expected to be over 40 billion dollars here in georgia one of the most conservative states there is up until recently we had two democrat senators elected in this last election but the state is still very conservative now you can go to the gas station and buy delta 8 and it's basically legal mj so even here in georgia we're starting to see some progress with the mj sector in legalization as states get on board a rising tide lifts all boats and i think over the next couple of quarters we're going to see sundial growers post better than expected numbers this is a legit company sometimes when you're dealing with penny stocks you're just trading the chart and not so much paying attention to the company but here we have a legit company real products in a sector that's growing right now we have a market cap of around 1.6 billion but they have 746 million dollars of cash on the books a huge amount of cash on the books compared to the market cap and on over the company has over 400 employees we're not talking about some ghetto company in the woods of canada that has three mj plants this is a legit company that is going to be growing with the sector let's take a look at some of their product line we have top leaf looks like one of their higher end products we have the bc mj co flowers in a can a cool packaging option there we have sundial experimental mj for the modern consumer and here we have grasslands is always greener grasslands it is one of their lower end product lines and we then we have the vape product lines as well so they're not only in the real mj space they also have cbd products and cartridges vape cartridges the mj sector has cooled off from a social media sentiment standpoint people aren't talking about it as much and that's when i want to be investing and buying these stocks and i think sundial sndl is one of the cheapest and best ways to get exposure to the mj sector let's talk about what i'm planning to do with this stock we have a very nice area of consolidation down here at the 80 cent to 65 area we can use that area as our risk and our buy zone and look for this thing to round back out i think this is a two dollar stock in the next 24 months so we're looking at more than 100 percent upside profit target in the next 24 months that is a very good risk to reward ratio all right the next stock the next penny stock we're going to talk about is one that has been blasting off that is blin Bridgeline Digital. 
We talked about this stock a couple months ago when it was trading in the $3 per share range. Today it's trading at $12. And you might be saying, well, the move's already been put in. Why are we talking about this stock? It's up huge. It's too late. Sure, we're not going to chase this stock up at $12 a share, but if it comes down and fills this gap, then sure, we'll take an entry. So we want to be ready. We can set some price alerts on our Weevil chart so we can go right click and create an alert at 963. So if it hits that, if it goes under that level, we'll get an alert sent to our email and an SMS message to our phone and we'll know that it's coming into support. This stock is in the industry of e-commerce, setting up e-commerce payment solutions. We've seen companies like Square, PayPal, absolutely blast off. And our thesis for liking BLIN in the original video we did on it is that the Rona Rona was going to have to shift ways that businesses operate. They're going to have to transition from brick and mortar to online, even though Bridgeline Digital BLIN is a really small micro cap penny stock, a rising tide lifts all boats. And that's the case here. Bridgeline partners win more than 20 site search licenses in its third quarter. They're getting deals. This is very important, especially for small companies. The more partners, the more deals they get, the more revenue they're going to have, and the higher the stock's going to go. I think Bridgeline, we see the trend continue, the numbers increase, the revenue increase, and we're going to be looking for this to come down, fill this gap, and we're going to be buyers under $9.60 a share. Look forward to round back out and go to the moon but we're not gonna chase we're not gonna chase up here over 12 bucks we gotta wait for that buy zone to come into play we're a tiger hiding in the brush waiting for the stock to come into our price target our buy zone and then we pounce on it we don't chase it why chase the antelope when you can just wait on it you can just chill in the shade drink some water and wait on it all the stupid lions chase the antelope. The smart lions wait in the brush and then they attack when the time is right. The third and final stock that we're going to be talking about is ticker STAF, Staffing 360. Staffing 360 is a company that buys and targets acquisitions of staffing companies. It's in the name. What does a staffing company do? They say you need a job, you're unemployed, you go to a staffing agency, they place you with an employer and they make money via the employer. During Rona, these staffing agencies, I imagine, got absolutely crushed. People were on unemployment, they weren't looking for work, businesses were shut down. That is in turn going to make these staffing agencies much cheaper. A lot of them may be on the brink of going out of business. Staff has the ability to go in there, acquire these hurting staffing agencies, later rebuild them, make the businesses better. People are going to be looking to go back to work after Rona. I think we're going to see really good numbers from STAF over the next couple of quarters. It's trading at $4.80. We can see that this thing is no stranger to putting in massive moves. Back here, we went from under four bucks all the way up to 20 bucks in just three trading days. So if this thing gets some steam under it, it can really run. The plan here is gonna set our stop loss under four, looking for a move up to $7 a share. We're, we need to be careful, we need to respect our stops with this one because it is volatile. But we're risking about 80 cents, less than a dollar, to make about $2.50. Nice risk to reward ratio here with staff. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my top pitting stocks for July of 2021. It's going to be a crazy month. Usually these penny stocks heat up in the summer while the overall market kind of slows down. So we're starting to see that with tickers like BLIN. So strap up your seatbelt, create a trading plan, and let's make some money. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace. Rage on that beat, gon' crave.